What the heck is going on with the CSGO skin and case market, and what does that mean for your inventory? My name is Brayden, and welcome to Valve Guides. This video is sponsored by CSGO Big, one of the largest CSGO sites with exciting game modes and crazy giveaways. Sign up with the link below to get three free cases and a 5% deposit bonus, and the first 100 people to redeem the code VALVEGUIDESCODE in the promo code section will get a free $3 balance. Start out with the Battle Royale style jackpot where the last man standing wins all. From there you can get a classic roulette experience as well as other classics like coin flips and custom cases. CSGO Big Big features a unique cashback system. The more you play, the more you earn back. And when it's time to withdraw, you can choose between popular cryptocurrencies and CSGO skins. Select the skins, knives, or gloves you want, and voila. Get started on CSGO Big right now with the link below. CSGO has been in the midst of a crisis when it comes to scanning cases for quite a while now. But between CS2 and a few other factors, the market is in a state like we've never seen before and we're continuing to run out of cases. As of now, it does not seem like there is a solution in sight. Over the past year, the prices of cases across the board has been steadily rising and rising with only a slight dip in the past few weeks. Classic and iconic cases such as the CSGO weapons case hit over $100. The Bravo case has doubled since the start of 2023 and the recent Dreams and Nightmares case at one point tripled in value. For those who enjoy doing large quantities of case openings, it will now take a seriously larger investment. The price of cases is no longer just an afterthought to the price of the keys themselves. Actively dropping cases on average have doubled and in some cases tripled in price. And if you're looking at opening some older cases, well, some of those like the clutch case are nearly six times their price when compared to just a few months ago. So what exactly is happening and why? According to CSGO Case Tracker, the volume of cases being opened each month has significantly increased since the start of the year with only 21.6 million cases opened in January a number on par with the 2022 average of 20 million cases each month, a slight increase in February to 27.7 million cases, potentially due to the hype and rumors around a CSGO Source 2 update, and then in March we see a huge explosion with 39.5 million cases opened, CS2 is announced halfway through the month, and CSGO hit an all-time peak of players, and the hype train is at full speed, and there's no sign of it slowing down. Finally, that takes us into April. After a full month of an active and growing population of players, 50.3 million cases were estimated to have been opened. But the prices are going down right? Yes, but that's not the full picture. There are two potential factors that might be causing the recent temporary dip in case prices. Number one, Steam Marketplace server issues. These issues have been preventing large portions of players from selling their cases on the marketplace during peak hours, causing a backlog of cases which are being pushed out almost in waves, slowly dropping the price overall. Number two, case investors cashing out. Some people who have been hoarding their cases could be selling all their cases while the market is up at record prices, and this causes a snowball effect as other players sell their cases still hoping to gain something out of the recent spike. This is certainly not a fix however, in fact it only serves to worsen the problem. The falling price of cases will likely cause more people to start opening cases again, and thus a vicious cycle has been created. The announcement of CS2 caused a massive influx in players, which again causes even more cases to be opened as a result. In the very short term, this trend may have started to slow down, but who knows how the market will react after the next big news drop or even the full release of CS2 this summer. But wait, there's still two more major factors contributing to this crisis. The power of TikTok. Over the past couple months, random TikTok accounts named after extremely cheap skins have been popping up. The most prominent would have to be the Aug Storm Minimal Wear. The sole purpose of this account was to artificially inflate the price of the skin for profit. Imagine the Wolf of Wall Street, but instead of land Bo's Yatsen, multi-million dollar trades, it's three cent CSGO skins and TikTok, huh? The Aug Storm minimal wear was originally floating around the price of three cents until TikTok entered the chat. An obscene amount of content was posted urging people to buy the skin. Similar to crypto, people started buying the Aug skin in droves with the hope of turning a quick profit. And if you got in at three cents and held until the peak, you would have made 100 times your money as the Aug Storm peaked at just under $3. It's a little too reminiscent of crypto for me, man. Is this a red flag in the skin market? 
Yes, obviously after the success of the Aug Storm, hundreds of other accounts started showing up on TikTok trying to make a quick buck by inflating the price of random skins. However, Valve did notice this and started market banning people who were buying the skins in bulk. I suppose this shows that in CSGO, market regulation has become increasingly necessary. When the CS2 playtest opened, people were eager to find out if skins would look very different, which they did, except not intentionally in all cases. The op Sun and Leo was the first big noticeable change that gained popularity. The old dull bland budget op had a complete overhaul in the new engine, the biggest change being the scope that went from being a standard black untextured scope to a beautiful purple textured skin. The Source 2 engine really said, I'm gonna remake this skin, bringing out the purple colors more vividly and making the lines more prominent. Also, there is the whole thing where certain knives were triggering the rare animations very consistently which caused a sudden increase in those prices, which eventually came back down. Obviously, this was a bug that just got fixed. It just goes to show how reactive and volatile the market is right now. Another noticeable difference is how nice emerald, ruby, and sapphire knives are looking in CS2. With the new lighting in Source 2, these knife skins are bound to become more and more sought after than they have previously been. So what does this mean and what does the future hold? For right now, it appears that the value of cases is in a state of rapid change. Players both new and old are coming to play CSGO and eager to get their hands on CS2. The updated visuals are causing new levels of demand for skins that were once deemed irrelevant. More and more people are buying and opening cases causing a potentially giant bubble in the case market and from a market point of view, short term dramatic fluctuations are not unheard of but with the sheer amount of fluctuation happening over the course of these past several months, it's really hard to say exactly how this will pan out long term. And if you're anything like me, you're asking asking yourself whether or not this is a bad time to buy CSGO skins or if you should cash out your entire inventory. It feels like if you don't buy in now, you'll miss out. But if you do buy in now, prices are surely going to drop, leaving you with a lot less value than your initial cost. On the flip side, it seems like there's never been a better time to sell your inventory, but what if it keeps going up? Since this is starting to sound a little more investy than I'd like, here are a few notes I beg you to keep in mind. If you're not a legal adult, please consult with a parent or legal guardian before making any major transactions relating to skins. Please do not spend any money in the CSGO market, whether it be skins, cases, or gambling sites that you are not 100% willing to lose. Have a good time and do things you enjoy, but not at the risk of your financial health. I personally think we're gonna see a lot of fluctuation in all directions in and around CS2's release, and then even a bit longer. I think things will only settle down several months after release, and even then, we don't know what the new case drops will be like moving forward, but trying to predict the exact ramifications and nature of those fluctuations, not gonna happen, man. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay on top of the game. Also follow me on Twitter at BradenUG and subscribe to my personal channel for non-CS related content with the link below. This has been Valve Guides. My name is Brayden. I'll see you next time. Stay amazing.